for the glory of Yeshua HaMashiach, Abba Yahweh, and the precious Ruach HaKadosh. It is good to be back. Whoop, 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 whoop. This is Heart of Flesh. I'm a youth minister for Mighty Wind Ministries, representing a Mighty Wind. And to those who are new to this war on YouTube, um, or that maybe have not even heard of this war, I just want to explain really quick. This video is in response to Pastor George C. and T.J. Brooks, who have constantly lied about this ministry. This video is done, not, again, not for them, but this video is for the truth seekers, those who are seeking the truth, those who have a genuine love for Yahushua HaMashiach, and I pray that those who do genuinely and passionately obey in complete submission and love to Yahushua, this video is for you, that you may discern and see the fruits within a mighty wind and then compare them to the fruits that you see in Pastor George C. and T.J. Brooks and all those that they bind themselves together with. So, with no further ado, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, this is why I say, Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Yahushua HaMashiach is greater. His ways are higher. His name is higher. His mighty arm is more powerful and can overwhelm all the powers of darkness combined. He is all glorious in love, majesty, and holiness. He is the only way. Faith in Him is the only path to redemption. Obedience and intimacy with Him is the only way to save your life and more importantly, your soul. Your soul. Your soul. Your soul. Your soul. It is Him. It has always been Him and it will forever be Him and Him alone. 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 With this being said, let me ask you a simple question. Would the powers, principalities, and rulers of darkness equip you with weapons that would put an end to their plans? Would Satan and those under him put something into your hands that he and they knew could dramatically ruin their agenda? Pastor George C. plays off the idea that believing in such things as werewolves, vampires, you know, um, all these things that you see in the horror movies, he plays off the idea of believing that such things exist is silly. I mean, after all, it's just, I mean, late night horror movies, right? Wrong. George is way too heavily involved in the occult to not know that such things are actually practiced within the kingdoms of darkness, which is actually what all those movies stand for and represent. By mocking these things and acting like we at a mighty win are crazy for believing that those who are heavily indulged in extreme satanic practices can actually achieve the levels of evil that are portrayed in the horror flicks. He appeals to the flesh of all those people who have never been exposed to such spiritual meat while mocking them to their very faces because again he is way too involved in Satan's kingdom to believe that these things are just silly horror stories. I warn you now, please do not fall for this mental trap, this mental game that he plays. If you look at the world, you see movie after movie after movie, after video game, after video game, after television show, after all these forms of entertainment, programming the minds of the viewers into thinking that carnal weapons such as guns will work against the kingdoms of darkness. Please keep watching to find out what will help you overcome against the powers of darkness and be protected from any attacks of the enemy and his troops. Those with eyes to see and ears to hear, listen! Do not allow the lack of knowledge to be your demise. This video and the videos that are being put out by the ministers in the mighty wind are being done to tell you to rest your faith upon the weapons that Yahushua, Yahweh, and the precious Ruach HaKadosh have to give, and not upon the carnal weapons of the world. If you listen to those who hate a mighty wind, and who in truth hate Yahushua himself, 
you will find the exact opposite message. He who is in the world is the same thief, the same deceiver, the same murderer that is within Pastor George C. For they spew forth the same garbage. This video is dedicated to the truth. This video is dedicated to Yahushua HaMashiach. This video is not made for George, nor is it made for TJ Brooks, because they already know what they're doing. This video is made as a voice crying out loud saying, STOP! Do not listen to the voice of deception! See these people for what they really are, and examine their fruits, and the fruits of those that they bind themselves together with. Wake up before it's too late, late, late. Be aware that just as the kingdom of heaven is vast and immense and infinite and in complexity, the kingdoms of darkness, the kingdoms of Satan know no limit in evil. And very many things that are done and practiced in secret within this widespread kingdom, the vast majority of professing Christians in this day and age know almost absolutely nothing about. And that is why he plays this role. That is why he plays this mind game, because he knows this. He knows that most people don't know these things. Please watch these videos done by my brother Sylvester, also known as Yah Servant 777, who is an associate minister for Mighty Wind Ministries. If you want to know the truth about what goes bump in the night and what the Holy Scriptures have to say about them. In a video uploaded by Pastor George C. entitled, A Mighty Wind, Mighty Monster Contest. The contest behind this video is to make a video response with the template of every response starting off with a mighty wind I am the blank and then the uploader the maker of the video fills in that blank with their favorite late night horror monster ask yourself please ask yourself does this sound like something that the Good Shepherd would lead people to do would a genuine anointed pastor of Yahweh God who is passionate and who cares about the well-being of Yahushua's sheep and lambs would he tell them to make a video connecting themselves with the kingdom of Satan? And even tell them to claim over themselves that they are this monster and that monster? Would a genuine pastor even joke about yoking people together with these demonic and evil monsters? And also, what does this tell you about those who profess faith in Jesus Christ and yet who take their time to go forth and actually make these videos, claiming these things over themselves? What does this tell you about them? To most this might sound silly, but if you love Yahushua, if you love him the way that you say you do, would you joke about belonging to Satan even in the slightest of ways? Would you even be able to make the smallest of jokes pretending to belong to Satan if you truly loved Yahushua? No, you wouldn't. You really would not be able to do that. Again, I ask, would those who profess faith in Yeshua be able to make such responses to this video, spiritually connecting themselves with these wicked things? This contest from hell is no joke, and believe me, it is no accident. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. that can protect us from all powers of darkness, hosts of wickedness, and all forms of ungodliness is the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach and the precious anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh that leads and guides us. Without the blood of Yeshua, we are completely powerless, defenseless, naked, completely vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. For He is divine and we are the branches and apart from Him we can do nothing. In prophecy number 47, found out a mighty wind, Yehovah God spoke a warning through Elizabeth Elijah, warning us that in the end times, Satan will mock the rising of the saints by animating dead bodies with demons from the pit of hell. The souls of these animated corpses will be in hell burning, but their physical bodies that were left behind will be used by demons to wreak havoc upon the earth. I want to remind the viewer that just like in the times of Joseph, Yehovah God gave Pharaoh, a man who honestly knew nothing about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who honestly was an idol worshiper. Yahweh God gave Pharaoh a vision, a dream, and showed Pharaoh 
what was to come. So it's no strange thing that today, Yahweh God puts in the minds of these directors, these worldly directors of what's going to happen. It's no strange thing. So what does Yahweh say to do when this happens? He says that those that are left behind that have to go through such things and experience such levels of evil, he tells them that guns and earthly weapons will only multiply the evil. And again, I ask you, would Satan and the rulers of darkness behind the world equip you with weapons that would work against them? No, of course not. Yahweh God warns us in his word about the arm of the flesh and those that rely on the arm of the flesh. He says in Psalms 20 verse 7, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh. He says in Jeremiah 17 verse 5, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Zechariah 4.6 then he answered and spake unto him, This is the word of Yahweh unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith Yahweh of hosts. Yahweh God tells us in Prophecy 47, that the only thing that will stop these animated corpses is the blood of Yahushua, the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh, and the power of the sacrifice that Yahushua paid for us on Calvary. He tells us to use a stick or piece of wood, which represents the cross and you shall sacrifice, and anointing oil, which represents the blood of Yahushua and the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh. The word says in James 5.14 to pray over the sick and to anoint them with oil that they may be healed. The oil represents the healing power in Yahushua's blood and the anointing of the precious Ruach HaKadosh that shatters all yokes and bondages of disease, sickness, and corruption as stated also in Isaiah 10:17, which says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Who would dare mock these things? Only those who hate Yahushua and who hate the genuine anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh. People like Pastor George C. and T.J. Brooks 88 hate the genuine anointing of the Holy Spirit and will do whatever necessary to keep the masses deceived, thus paving the way for their Father to fill the minds of the people with fleshly comfort that will ultimately lead the people to be uninformed and unprepared whenever these things come to pass. Because just as the genuine ministers of Yahushua, of Yahweh and the Ruach HaKadosh, are doing whatever they can to lead souls to the foot of the cross and to the loving and delivering arms of Yahushua HaMashiach. The ministers of darkness are doing whatever they can to steal, kill, and destroy the souls of those that still have a chance at salvation. In another video uploaded by Pastor George C. entitled, Zombie Max, The Ultimate Zombie Killer, George offers his solution of how to get rid of the undead. It is no surprise that what his solution says and what he recommends to do is no different than what the world is telling you is going to work or in more realistic terms what Satan is telling you what to do. If I was persecuting a true minister of Yahweh, if I was the one that was false, wouldn't it be the opposite? Why is it that the words of this so-called pastor lines up directly with what the world is telling you what to do? He says in his video, quote, I know that the prescribed remedy was a stick anointed with oil and hit the zombie on the neck. I don't know about you, but when I have a zombie coming after me, a stick with oil isn't what I'm looking for. You know, let me ask you something. Can you compare a stick anointed with oil to a high-powered rifle? Can you compare iron swords and spears to a sling and a stone? Could you even compare sword and shield with a jawbone? Human intellect tells us that whenever you are faced with an opponent who is significantly bigger in either size or in number, that you have to grab the biggest, most powerful physical weapon that you can get your hands on. That is why Yahushua's warriors rely not on human intellect, but we rely upon the strength of Yahushua our Mashiach and upon Yahweh our Father in Heaven, because the victory will completely reflect their glory and not our own. Thus, their strength will be magnified and not ours. Because Pastor George C. lives his life completely in the flesh, 
he cannot comprehend the things of heaven. Which is exactly why he says the things that he does in his Zombie Max video. He is pretty much saying, you know what stick isn't going to do any damage against these zombies? Here's this high powered rifle and these explosive bullets. This is going to do the job. But then again, Yahweh God never said that a stick and oil is going to do the job. He said that the sovereign blood of his only begotten son and the all-consuming fire of the Ruach HaKadosh is going to do the job, which is what the stick and the oil represent. The very definition of a zombie is the body of a dead person given the semblance of life but mute and willless by a supernatural force, usually for some evil purpose. And if you look up the origin of the word zombie, you will find that a zombie is an animated corpse brought back to life by mystical means such as witchcraft. How can you fight supernatural things with physical weapons? Only the spiritual and heavenly weapons that Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach HaGadosh have to give will help. Going into a different subject now. If it is no wonder that Satan masquerades himself as an angel of light and his ministers masquerade as ministers of righteousness, then it is no wonder how his people mimic the ways of Yahweh and corrupt them for their own occultic purposes. Does this then mean that true followers of Yahushua should just drop and stop doing everything that Satan has taken and mimicked and corrupted in his camp? Things that Yahweh God has made and established for the benefit of his people? There is no end to the blasphemy of TJ Brooks 88. There is no end as she searches and searches and digs up all these different things to try to slander a mighty wind. And the things that Yahushua has led us to preach and the truths that he has revealed to prophet Elizabeth Elijah to help us during these end times and during the great tribulation. She accuses us of indulging in witchcraft because witches also use sticks anointed with their oils. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How desperate can this woman be? How many witches do you know that fall down and worship and pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Who completely surrender their lives in submission and in love to Yeshua HaMashiach? And who live to the fullness of their ability every single day to die to themselves and be pleasing unto Yeshua? And who live lives of undivided, undying passion and intimacy with Him and Him alone? How many witches do you know practice these things? Again, Satan mocks, he is out to steal, kill, and destroy. He is no creator. All he does is mimic, all he does is copy, all he does is forge. There is nothing original about him. And let me say something to you now, TJ Brooks, and to you, Pastor George C. You have chosen the wrong God to come against. You have chosen the wrong ministry to come against. As surely as Yahushua HaMashiach never gave up, whenever he was carrying the cross, as surely as he never gave up while he was being whipped, scourged, spit upon, mocked, kicked around, bruised, beaten, stabbed, as surely as he never even folded for one second for us, we will never give up on him and we will never stop fighting for him. We will never stop exposing your lies. We will never stop reaching his sheep and lambs as long as there's breath within us, as long as he reigns on his sovereign throne and as long as he will never be knocked off as surely as, as Yeshua will never return to the grave and as surely as he comes back as a lion of the tribe of Judah to devour his enemies and splatter them we will never give up fighting you and fighting your lies and reaching his people we will continue to grow and stand against your wickedness and be as a voice crying out loud warning Yahushua sheep and lambs fighting as his warriors and laboring in his harvest field. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I rebuke you, Pastor George C. I rebuke you, TJ Brooks 88. And I pray that Yahweh God may deal with you and repay you according to all the works that you have committed against his kingdom, against his people, and against his only begotten son, Yahushua. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name, amen. Again, I say to you, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world.